It actually hit me the other day. My landlord sent a letter to my apartment saying, you know, be out by the May, May 15th. Um, you know, somebody else rented it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I gotta pack up my stuff. I'm not moving to another place. Like, I'm gone. Five years ago, Meg Bolger came to WVU in the shadow of her sister Kate and her brother Mark before that. As the third in a string of Bolgers to attend WVU, the expectations were there. But for Meg, that didn't mean any added pressure. You know, I never, you know, took it, you know, too seriously or too hard on myself. Like, if I don't do this, you know, West Virginia is going to think this about me. Um, you know, I was proud of what they had accomplished, and I know that they were proud of me regardless. So, um, I was just happy to be in an environment that, you know, was family. And because that my family had been there, you know, it felt a lot more comfortable to me. It didn't take long for Meg to make an impact on the court. In her first season in the Gold and Blue, she garnered Big East Freshman of the Year honors, coming off the bench and chipping in over 10 points a game. I, I came in with confidence that, you know, I know I can play at the next level, but at the same time, you know, when we saw the competition, you know, that I was facing in the Big East, you know, it kind of it kind of took me by surprise. But, you know, I give a lot of credit to the seniors that I had that, that year and, and my sister just really pulling me through it, really getting me through it and, and teaching me a lot. After leading the conference and scoring her sophomore season, Bolger's career suffered a major setback. After tearing her ACL against St. John's midway through her junior season, she'd work her way back only to suffer the same injury once again. You know, I never, you know, would have thought that my career would have, you know, been, you know, hit like that in the middle of it, and I never thought I would end still with a knee brace on. You know, I, I definitely didn't. So, uh, you know, somehow as a blessing in disguise, it made me a much stronger person. Uh, you know, I learned a lot going through adversity, worked a lot harder than I ever had to, and made me appreciate a lot more things uh, that I probably wouldn't have seen before. With her knee finally healed, Bolger returned for her senior season, but just when she finally seemed to be getting her confidence back, she tweaked her injured knee in late January against Marshall. I, I definitely thought maybe that was going to be it for me, and I was like, you know, is this really how I'm going to end my college career? I'm going to you know, be sitting on the bench and cheering them on, and you know, after I kind of talked about it with my family, and and really thought about it, you know, I'm, I'm not that type of person that I could have just, you know, 20 years from now saying, I wonder if I would have just kept trying to play or wonder if I wouldn't have did this. So I knew that's not how I wanted to end it. You know, I came in a competitor and I wanted to leave that way. And even though her Mountaineer career will come to an end later this month, Bulger hopes her days on the court are far from numbered. I'm going to keep playing until, you know, I might not be able to play anymore. And, and that's really the mindset that I have now is that I can't go into it afraid. I got to just play, you know, Really just, it's not up to me and just, you know, if it's going to happen, you know, whatever. But I'm just going to play and have fun until then.